welcome back guys in this video lecture we'll be talking about wound healing assay right and why we do wound healing assay wound healing assay is an assay to detect the directional cell migration now it's a mouthful of name what we mean by directional directional cell migration directional cell migration means in every different type of cell in our body you know there are different type of tissues so in different tissues there are different types of cells now the cells of liver tissue i mean in case of liver the cells will migrate differently migration of the cell is important all the cells in our body migrates to fill the gap that is present right so cells start to divide let's say there is one cell that cell divides into two but once that cell divides into two the cell will migrate to accommodate the next place similarly that cell again divides migrate little bit so there is a way of migration for example in this case the migration way is this and there is a migration rate so there is a migration direction of the cells as well as the migration rate of the cell how many cells are migrating per minute or something per second majorly here my idea here some other cells let's say let's say let's say if we take this cell this cell start also dividing and they start dividing and migrating at this direction with a different migration rate so these are the two things that we concern about one is the migration direction other one is the migration rate we can measure both of these things migration direction as well as migration rate using wound healing assay so what we do here this assay is performed completely in vitro situation so we have our cell culture plate the animal cell culture and what we produce here in this culture media we produce cells a single layer of cells single layer of cells that is there is only one layer of the cell because there are different layer conditions that are possible let's say this if you look at cross view this is a single layer of cell but if you look at this this is bi layer of cell or something so we want this single layer of cell that's called a mono layer mono layer so we have this mono layer of cells in the cell culture media solid culture media and then what we do solid or liquid whatever according to our preference what we do we create a wound there we create a wound we just scrap off some cells from the surface and that creates what we call a wound so once this wound is created then what we want to study is that migration of the new cells so the old cell will start divide and fill this surface because that's a feature of cells once the whole surface is blocked the cell division is halted but then again if there is any wound the cell division slowly start to rise and it will start to fill that surface area cell won't allow any gap in the surface area so they'll start filling that gap by dividing the cells so again the new cell will start to form and they start to migrate towards that to fill that wound to fill that gap so remember after creating the wound we take a microscopic picture and then after every single time interval when the cells start to migrate we take pictures in different time intervals to finally see what is the directionality of these new cells to migrate by this way we get the migrational direction and then also by comparing those images one after another from the beginning of the wound to the filling of the wound we can also pick the migration rate right by comparing with those different images so it's a kind of microscopic technique we look it under the microscope because these are cells we cannot visualize with naked eye so we'll see the cells dividing and we take pictures in different time intervals to see how the cells are migrating in which direction as well as by comparing the pictures we can get the number of cells which are migrating per minute or per second to give us the idea of migration rate so we can calculate it for different types of cells that's what wound healing assay is doing for us
As we use monolayer for this wind, wound healing assay, we sometimes also call it a monolayer wound healing assay. Okay, so that's it, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more and more biological technique videos like this, and share this video with your friends. Thank you.